as you can see I had the paint shop selected as the active window the specific window to be called from and it opens it from minimized it was down here minimized it was down here minimized yeah you can see that because I've got the paint shop in front of it so it should actually pick it up yeah. now whoops well, I couldn't do that but um, let me show you the opening file when you first open the screen recorder what you'll see is this let me just The box that you see to the top left where it says pre select full screen, that is what you first see. I use the drop down arrow where it says full screen, and as you can see, you've got the list of full screen. My YouTube channel happens to be open. The notepad, which you don't know whether you can see that on the bottom. Uh, coal paint shop, which is what's re being recorded now, and the calculator. That was just to give a list to see how many lists. I have selected the audio, even though it doesn't say that on there. Um, I took the snapshot before I selected the audio. Silly. Okay, now, on the top you see the help where it says help, I clicked on that and the little help box to the right of that came on and it says screen recorder and uh, it tells you how to use it there um, to some degree and uh, basically it's straightforward the combo box which is the box at the top, the top left there uh, select full screen capture in more specific window flashes in the toolbar uh, as, as you can read there probably um, it says select specific window if you select specific window it will flash in toolbar in taskbar so you know you selected the right window if there are multiple windows with the same time if you want to record your voice as well then please check audio checkbox which I did Screen Recorder will use the default audio recording device during the capture. If Screen Recorder cannot, ca cannot find a recording device, then it will warn you not to check it. If you selected a specific window to capture, then it, that should be the window border will flush as red lights, which is what it's doing now. If you do not want border flashing, please check no border flashing checkbox straightforward enough and then you come on to the next part which is the start start is start capturing pause pause capturing brackets when you resume comma it will continue to capture from the stage you paused close brackets stop equals stop capturing brackets when stop button is clicked program waits until all data in memory buffer is flushed to the file close brackets the counter, which is depicted as double zero colon double zero colon double zero, will show the capture time as hour, minute, second during capture. There is a status indicator stopped, recording, paused in the middle. Play button only shows up when you click stop button after a capture session, so that the capture video will be played back by default media player, in this case Windows media player 12 uh, in the system if you click the play, play button so if you've got real media I think it's real media is it um, it will play in that, if you've got um, quick time it will play in that media player it will play in that and then the last um, segment of the help file says play the video 100% in size to play it in 100% size in Windows Media Player, right click the video when playing, then select video size and 100%. Alternatively, you can use Alt plus 2 
shortcut to play the video in 100% size during playback. For different players there are different menus and shortcut combinations. That's the help bar, short, sweet and to the point, which is what I like. Now we'll come out of that screenshot, yeah? and as you can see, well you can't see that, but what I'm going to show you now is the second file. Which shows a little, as you can see, in the on there, right, in that little sec section there, let's put it to a perfect size. Now, what you're going to see here, go to full size preview, as you can see, Let's see. So what I will do then? We will do a full size screen preview. You still can't quite see, but to the bottom right is the stars. Let's see if we can zoom into that particular one. As you can see, the bottom right there. It's not a very good capture that. And here. Yeah, you got that. Now what I did, I clicked on here to specify file name. Right? And that there put the claim up. Let's see. So it's please enter file name. Now what you do, you put in the file name, like a because it automatically puts the WMV um, extension. I always take the extensions out because it's on there in here. And then you just click save and if it save anything until you actually stop the video. Um, I haven't seen there. So when I did start, it started recording what we see now. Um, in, a, in a short while I will stop it and then it will save it automatically to the um, thing that I've got there. Now I've renamed it Tutorial yeah, because this is a very short but very succinct tutorial. Now as you can see it only gives part of the window there um, but um, it can do full screen. The only reason I've done it small like this is so that I can do the zoom in like that to show you that little box there. Uh, there's the counter. That's the input. It comes up start when it's started. Pause when you click it. Stop when you stop. When you stop, you get the little play button here. It comes up grey with white. When you push that, it opens up Windows Media Player, my case. That's my desktop one. Um, and um, but does it? It's, um, it plays the file that you recorded this one. And um, well, you'll be able to see it when I upload it to YouTube. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe as usual. And um, the links are in the original video I made of this, the test one, which is already on my channel. Um, if you comment on this video and request any links, I can I can give them to you or directly. Yeah, if you go to my channel, you'll see the original, which is called uh, Labour Test One, uh, screensaver for Windows Seven Test One. Should be first in the list of my uploads. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, peace out. Right, let's minimize that slightly and then we'll stop this.